The Ten Commandments. How can we remember them all? Easily. Here's how. I am the Lord your God. 1. You shall have no other gods besides me. 2. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. 3. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 4. Honor your father and your mother. 5. You shall not kill. 6. You shall not commit adultery. 7. You shall not steal. 8. You shall not bear false witness. 9. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. And 10. You shall not covet anything that is your neighbor's. Let's go over them one more time, a little slower. I am the Lord your God. Take your prayer hands. Number one, you shall have no other gods besides me. Use your number one pointer finger and point up to God. No other gods besides me. Number two, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. So to take God's name in vain means to treat it with frivolity, to not have respect that God deserves. So we would maybe swear to God, or we would call out God's name instead of a curse word. That would be taking the Lord's name in vain. We are not going to do that, so we're going to take our two fingers and cover our lips. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Three, just like for the sign of the cross, we're going to tap to our forehead to remember. Remember the Sabbath day. And then we'll make the sign of the cross to keep it holy. Four, we're going to say, aye, aye, captain, first to our father and then to our mother. Honor your father and your mother. And then number five, we're going to take our hand right at the heart. You shall not kill. Six, we're going to pretend like this is a family. And here you are. And you don't do anything to separate the mommy and the daddy. We keep the mommy and the daddy together in the family. And you aren't the reason for them separating, yes? So that's, you shall not commit adultery. Number seven, you don't steal. And then number eight, you shall not bear false witness. So we're going to take our eight fingers and cover our mouths again, because to be a witness means to stand up and say, yes, yes, this is what happened, that's true. And to be a false witness is to stand up and say, yes, yes, this is what happened, that's true, when you're lying. We are not going to be liars, so we will not bear false witness. Okay, so we'll cover our mouths. And then number nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. So here you are, your little thumb, jumping from one family to the next. Not the way it works, does it? You have your family. You don't go and want the other guy's family, so that's not going to be us. And then number ten, you don't covet anything that is your neighbor's. You don't grab, 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 want, 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 want. You have peace with what you have. So, the Ten Commandments. Are you ready? I am the Lord your God. One, you shall have no other gods besides me. Two, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Three, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Four, honor your father and your mother. Five, you shall not kill. Six, you shall not commit adultery. Seven, you shall not steal. Eight, you shall not bear false witness. Nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. And ten, you shall not covet anything that is your neighbor's. That's the Ten Commandments. Good job.